Hi there everyone, welcome back to a new Boom Beach video. I am here on my level 73 account and guys, we're getting very close. All of my mortars are officially done. All I have left are flamethrowers and machine guns and then I have all my storages and residences. So it doesn't seem like I'm close, but the defenses and buildings we have left are freaking cheap. So we are gonna grind through them and I think it honestly is gonna go very, very well. We, we're getting a mega crab tomorrow. Super excited about that. We'll get you guys some content for that this weekend. But today, just doing some warrior attacks, really trying to get two uh, machine guns upgraded. Machine guns are more expensive than flamethrowers, so I wanna try to get the more expensive defenses done first. That way it's just easier at the end for me. And it's getting to the point where I could clear my map once and we can do two big upgrades. And I think now that the mortars are done, that's kind of how it's looking. I can just one one clear, one full boost every other day, two big upgrades. By the time I log back on, both of the upgrades are done. And that's how we're going to make some real progress. But it's going to be a grind, so stick with me. And uh, it's already been a grind. I mean, man, this is definitely the hardest HQ to ever drop. HQ 25 was crazy. I honestly was not expecting it to take this long. I mean, obviously, there are already people who have maxed out HQ 25s. I kind of took a break, and I'm not upgrading stuff as diligently as I should be, but it's been a very tough HQ 25. The upgrades you get at HQ 25 they are very, very good, but they're also very, very expensive. You're dropping 8 million stone on a freaking boom cannon upgrade or landing craft upgrade. The upgrades are not cheap, and it really puts a number on you if you don't have any resource reward. I'm pr I, like, I have no clue how the top level players are able to farm up that much loot to get these upgrades done because... It's hard enough for me already as someone that has like six resource reward statues and the top players, people that are pushing, don't have that option. They can't just drop down resource reward statues to get big upgrades uh, down. So I don't know what they're doing, but I gotta say Mega Crab probably helps them out a ton. They're able to attack Mega Crab, get a ton of loot. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if some of them destroyed one of their main statues boosted up uh or dropped down a resource reward like 50 percent boosted that up just for mega crab i wouldn't be surprised and then after mega crab after they're done attacking they remove it drop down a nice statue or something that's what the top players do i mean they farm up years i don't think people realize how intense pushing to the leaderboard is I'm not talking about the lower leaderboard down here. I'm talking about the upper leaderboard up here, 2,000 plus medals. Uh, for the last few years, it's been around this amount of medals. We haven't really seen people rising. We've always had one or two people above 2,000, and it is a pain. And actually, I don't know whatever came out of this or if those players ever came back to the game, but there was a huge issue with Chinese players uh, kind of colluding for top leaderboard spots. So, I mean, this is uh, probably one of the biggest conspiracies I've ever seen. Not, not I don't know about conspiracy, but it, I mean, it actually happened, but they were conspiring and colluding together to get people on the leaderboard. And basically they would target players that weren't in their little club, honestly. I don't know a ton about it, but I know it happened and I know the general details, but I'm sure other YouTubers know a lot more of the details of, of, of them colluding. Honestly, it would be fun to put on a, a long video about that where I just go into depth of this, like one of the biggest Boom Beach scandals. Because, I mean, I've been playing Boom Beach since closed beta and I've never seen something that that big happened i think it was like last year or something it was pretty recently where a lot of top players got banned because of this and i don't know if they just farmed up new accounts and got back onto it or if they had multiple accounts it doesn't look good for the space this freaking microwaver i had to go around and then i didn't really have enough stuff to stay alive i think i can beat that honestly let's just train up 
<laughs> bombardier heavies because that's that's the combination that's easily gonna beat this guy but how that came about uh i don't know a bunch of top players probably in the same like telegram group i don't know i don't know all the details but it would be fun to to learn anyway we brought that up. Oh, I was talking about how long it takes to farm up. I mean, you you literally have to have a ton of power powder because you always have to be boosting up your ice statues. Otherwise, you're just going to drop like crazy. And then you also need to be boosting up um, your offensive statues when you're clearing maps. Because if you think about it, how are you going to be able to defeat another Boomage player with all ice and four prototypes in a maxed out base with three offensive statues a health masterpiece a gumbo energy masterpiece and a damage masterpiece that's all they have and I, I mean thinking about strategies it was even harder before we had bombardiers now everyone just uses bombardiers because they're super easy they definitely have to nerf bombardiers in my opinion but back in the day they didn't have bombardiers they had to come up with some really unique strategies to defeat these other top high high level players and honestly it would be fun to be in that environment but i would never be able to survive in that environment i'm not that skilled i'm not that dedicated that takes a ton a ton of work and going back to what i was saying about farming up accounts i forgot i had this combination trained up people would literally have all power stone chance statues and just farm up their account get as much power powder as possible i don't know what the the magic number for when you want to begin your pushes but i assume it has to be a couple thousand power powder i mean when i was on my push i pushed for a good like four or five months and it was it was brutal and i drained through all of my power powder granted I think I was draining through it a little bit faster because my situation was different. I wasn't I wasn't dropping down ice statues and boosting those up. I was dropping down my or I had offensive statues. I was a fully offensive player going on a fully offensive push. So that was a little different because when I did a full boost once a day, I or even twice a day at some times. Um, that boost only lasted for three hours, but when you boost up your ice, I think it lasts for 12 hours or 10 hours or something. It's a lot more. You can tell how much of a ice user I am, a defensive user I am. So yeah, what I'm trying to say is, I think I probably spent more power powder per day than these top level players. I don't, uh, that's what I would assume, but I could be wrong. I mean, if you think about it, maybe I'm maybe I am wrong because if you think about it. I was boosting up all of my offensive statues every day, and if uh, ice boost lasts for 12 hours or 8 hours and even might be, then they have to always keep that boosted, so they're probably spending about the same amount of power powder as me, if not double the power powder. So yeah, they're spending more, and I drained through power powder very fast. That's one of the main reasons I stopped my push, it's because I was running out of power powder. I also was running out of money. That's another part we don't talk about. What I like about Boom Beach statues and Power Powder is it forces the person pushing to have played the game for a super long time. You can't just drop $10,000 on the game, max out your Boom Beach account, and then go on a push. Because you don't have the Power Powder, you don't have the prototype parts to farm or, or to sustain that push, to boost up your statues, to get these prototypes down. And other games I've seen, like Clash of Clans, you could just gem up, I think. I, I mean, when I played Clash of Clans a few years ago, you could just gem up your entire base because there's no like concept of statues and boosting up and stuff. So you could just max out your entire base, go on a push, and top players do that. Top players still do that. Um, but Boom Beach, it's different. It takes grind and it takes a lot of work to get to that level where you even can push. So you really just have to be like a dedicated Boom Beach player for years. And I'm sure a lot of top players play on multiple accounts a day, farming up probably new accounts to push eventually. I don't know how they do that, but 
I know it takes a lot out of you because I was there and it took a lot out of me. And it also took a lot out of my bank account, which is something I don't really talk about. There was a point in my push, I was spending a hundred dollars a day. And honestly, like at that point of time, Jimmy and I weren't making that much on YouTube. So that money I think was over what we were, what I was making off of YouTube. So that goes to show you just how intense pushes can be and how, how much it costs you. So here's where I'm sitting though. I have, I have like 500 of each and then 800 complex gears. So pretty good. I could go on a push if I, if I wanted to, I could go on a push. I think it'd be fun. I have enough power powder to last me a while. The only thing I don't know if I would want to do is getting all these ice statues down. Also, you have to like clear your map every day, which I don't have the, the time for at the moment, but maybe eventually things will settle down with my job and I'll be able to get, get to that grind and push guys. So I hope you all enjoyed the video. By the way, we're setting up a giveaway this week on our Discord server. We're gonna be giving away a bunch of different Supercell packages. Um, Supercell gave us a bunch of codes. There's farm, heyday, heyday. There's heyday stuff, there's Clash of Clan stuff, there's, I think there might be some Brawl Star stuff. Uh, there's not really any Boom Beach stuff, I don't think, but if you play any other games or if you want a cool plush or something, definitely go join our Discord down below. You guys can win something and um, yeah, I think it's worldwide, so you can do it anywhere. So definitely go do that. I hope you all enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.